Hi guys, Nomis here. Welcome back to Nomis Sub for episode number 31. In this episode, I'll be re reworking a lot of the highways around this end of Björgvin and creating a custom double decker bridge across the river, which will hold cars in the lower level and trains, pedestrians, and bikes on the upper level, all held together by trusses. I'll also build out a little bit around the bridge, but more on that later. So, first off, I want to do something about the highways. Most of the highways on the map are way too overbuilt for the kind of city this is. Before I start on the bridge, I'll remove this huge interchange and scale back a lot of the highways leading into it. And then both of these highways, as well as the bridge and arterial road, will be fed into this large roundabout here instead. Much more appropriate for the city. While doing that, I want to go into the history of the bridge a little bit. It will probably be obvious from a look of the bridge that it's quite an old one. Actually, it is the oldest of the major bridges in Nomisavn, finishing construction in 1905. This was a time of great prosperity for the city, and until this time, the urban ferry systems, of which a lot doesn't exist anymore, was the main way of getting between the mainland and the different islands. The ferries were slow and getting overcrowded. While well, Nomushaven had already had a fair share of railways by now, they were disconnected by the large waterways that were bordering the district. They needed bridges for trains, pedestrians and other vehicles. Leadership at the time was very inspired by a major city and also had major rivers splitting it. New York, with the Brooklyn Bridge, Williamsburg Bridge and Manhattan Bridge to mention a few. Nomisavn leaders saw an opportunity to make bridges an icon of the city and were inspired by the grandeur of these bridges and not to mention the multiple levels some of them had. As this was the first bridge going across the rivers coming from Björgvin, the bridge was named Björgvin Bridge. While cars were not common in Nomisavn at the time yet, the bridge was built with its future rise in mind. There was to be built a lower level for road vehicles and an upper level with train tracks for new railways spanning the rivers as well as walkways for pedestrians and bikes. We'll come back later to comment a little here and there on how I built this when we get to that, that part. For the approach on both ends of the bridge, I take a lot of inspiration from my time visiting New York when I was walking ar across the Brooklyn Bridge. As I walk towards the pedestrian part of the bridge, I pass these grand stone walls that supported the roads going up to the bridge, and I want to do something similar. Using IMT, I decorate with these beautiful retaining walls and pillars from the same sat on the workshop, adjusting them a bit and I just love the look it gives. There are some gaps where the road passes under and I can't use the retaining walls, so I supplement it with a brick texture that blends well with it and apply it to a procedural object shape and just align it with the bridge.
Talking about the bridge, I'll convert some pillars into a procedural object and use the same brick texture as right before so that I have the freedom to scale and shape them as I want. They came out a little too bright, but I will fix that later on. To do the truss search for the lower level, I got a truss from the workshop, which I adjust a little with the procedural object and copy over the whole bridge spanning the river. Coming to the upper level, I first put in the bike path on top of the trusses using network multi-tool and move it to get it into place. And I can simply use the parallel tool to get in both the pedestrian path and the train tracks alongside it. For both the bike and pedestrian path, I wanted as gentle a climb as I could find. So I do this swooping half circle that kind of mirrors what the roads are doing. I don't know exactly where the stations will be across the river here yet, so the placement of the tracks across the bridge is very temporary just to get the bridge built.
To get a little more va variation, I wanted a slightly different thrust on the upper level. What ended up working was actually taking some pillars from the bay bridge and rotating them around with posterior objects in order to fit them on top of the bridge. Very inspired by Brooklyn Bridge, I used IMT to change the surface of the pedestrian and bike paths to have this wooden plank surface. And it looks a lot better with the style of the bridge I think. I upgraded the keys here earlier to this nice key wall, which stairs going to a lower level. Didn't love the look of this huge blank wall as it sits quite high, so I covered it up with a lot of rocks. This is supposed to give the feel that this key wall was built to support the ground as they flattened out and built on the land right above this steep cliffside. Since I want to get some connections to the other side of the bridge through this underpass, I need to rethink the placement of this gas station and 7-Eleven. Just placing it more to the side so I can get a proper street pass there and across the bridge underpass.
imagine a lot of the neighborhood around here sprung up around the time the bridge was built as it became a more attractive place with that connection in. And I want the architecture to reflect that. Also adding some slight grittiness in small spots with graffiti and trash where it makes sense to do so. Going back to the roundabout, I did some markings earlier, but I want to finish detailing it properly. In the middle I put this small artificial pond with a nice rock as a centerpiece, and then just cover the outer edges with lots of plants and a nice wall, and then finish it up with some nice colored lights. <music> To give this neighborhood the look of its area, I covered it with a few different cobblestones. It also made sense to have this key wall, not have the plain old pavement on top. So I figured out ways to do cover it with cobblestones using IMT. This was much easier to do after I perfectly lined the road parallel to the key wall. And then just filling out with more older architecture and spicing it up with some small shops on first floors of buildings and the other small details.
cable you see here is called Bjogvin Bridge Promenade. And it's considered to be the first dedicated urban promenade of Nomesavn. Most of the waterfront in the city started off with industrial uses and changed a lot through the years. But in the start of the 20th century, a lot of the waterfronts still had a lot of industrial traffic. This promenade is different however, and was built in this time. The whole neighborhood is now named Bjorgvin Bridge Promenade after the waterfront. And since it was built, it has always been a bustling place with lots of markets and outdoor bars. So that is it for today's build. I hope you enjoyed it if you made it this far. Likes, comments and subscribes are always greatly appreciated and will help me grow the channel. I also do have a Patreon now if you wish to support me further. Until next time, have a great rest of your day and stay tuned for some cinematics of the Bjorgvin Bridge. <laughs>